Good evening, everybody. I got a guest here with me. Uh, this is my sister, Lisa. And uh, I'm going to have her coming on here like once a week. I'll have her on here and we'll be talking about things. Um, go ahead and tell them about your channel or what you're doing. Well, I'm Lisa from Golden Years Aren't So Gold. And I'm incognito because my hair color has changed. Because she went to the dollar store or something she bought. Mark down here. Mark guy. down here, color. Said light, light ash brown. You see what I got? Going to the reunion black shoe polish. Hmm. Yes. Go ahead and talk to me. Well, what am I gonna talk about? Oh, I gave Ruthie's daughter his dog a haircut today. He's having a happy hair day now. Caused all three of the little dogs to get a bath. I don't know. She texting somebody. Let me show you my new mouthpiece. I like that. What do you think? I don't need no snap fat to look funny. Yeah, she's talking to me. This is a game that her granddaughter has. And uh, so she was trying to talk to me and with them. And, and then I said, oh, do you have teeth growing in down there? Uh-uh. She don't. Nope. Looks like I got a mustache. My son said this hair color gives a glow to my face. Then take the wrinkles out. <laughs> Didn't take the wrinkles out of none of us. I just seen a horse run to your backyard. Oh, he's out the back door. Yeah, she gave my daughter's dog a haircut because she gives her uh, Shih Tzu a haircut. And, and it's easy. Well... He's not a Shih Tzu. He's a Shorty. He's a Shorty. Okay. Well, Ella is a um, Yorkie Poo. And some Yorkie Poos have, uh, they can end up with straight hair like the Yorkie. But Ella took after her mother, who was a poodle. So she has straight hair on her ears, but then she's just a complete fuzzball. I was informed she's a designer dog. Yes, yeah, so all dogs like that are designer dogs. Mm -hmm. Uh Let's see. What's that one? Labradoodle. They're designer dogs. Yorkie Poos are designer dogs. Uh, what'd you say he was? Who? <laughs> Shorky. A Shorky. That's a designer dog. And he's an asshole. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people say, well, I want a um, Yorkie Poo. Well, you know, you might um, get a Yorkie Poo that don't look like a poodle. It might have straight hair. Because I have seen some on YouTube that their hair is straight. And it's not curly. But they're not considered a dog breed. They're considered, there's so few of them, they're just considered uh, designer dogs. I feel like them guys on the Sonic commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the staff guy. I'm the guy driving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like them two who, them two fat cooks, them two fat ladies that used to do recipes. Are you saying I'm England? fat? Well, we're old like that. Old like that. Mm -hmm. Remember they rode on a motorcycle? Remember when they rode on that motorcycle? What? The old fat lady cook? Yeah. No. Yeah, we're from England. One had blonde hair and the other had black hair. Oh, hair. yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember them, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. what I think reminds me of. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma and Ginka. <laughs> You're Ginka. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm on her channel because I haven't been on my channel. I heard Grandma's getting bad. She probably is. Yeah. They've got to up with her. You can't live forever. Boy, and dry. Yeah. I can't wait till school starts. That's Monday. My granddaughter will be going to school from 8 in the morning till 4 o'clock. She can't wait. Me, it just seems I'll be like running through the house naked. Sure you will. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'll still be sitting there watching my murder show. And Mikey will call the police to say, hurry, come back here. There's a large bat running through my house. 
flapping through the house. Hey, I scored a hundred with him two nights in a row on supper. Well, that's kind of scary. I know it is. Now he wants to know when I'm making that stove top dressing. Tell him it's not stove top dressing. Mother. It's not. That's right. It's not stove top dressing. Well, he ate my rump roast last week too. I cooked it all day in the crock pot. That why you're losing some rump? Yeah. I've been using rump. I thought I had a bed sore in my butt. I had to have my daughter come over and see what it was. So I quit sitting in that chair. How do you get 10 um, hot dogs, natural casing hot dogs? When I seen there was only like... You should have asked him if he had a bag of those casing, natural casing. I didn't want to hold $25 worth. Why? You crazy. I seen some in the cold case. about that long. They were um, four dollars or something for like four or five. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like their frankfurters. I did like frankfurters when I was younger, and I figured out I don't like frankfurters when I'm older. Why, when we were younger and had them, they were hot? Cause Dad bought them. Probably oh, okay. got them at the bar out that yard. No, he didn't. Yes, I went to the meat market last week. And my son uh, wants some hot dogs that when you bite them, they snap. Natural casing. They're all hooked together. So they had a bag of them. And I said, well, how, how much for the bag? They said $25. I said, well, just give me 10 And I said, now give me the whole damn bag. So I got hot dogs coming out of my butt. They're beef hot dogs, and I ain't crazy about beef hot dogs. I know my granddaughter didn't like them. Because she was raised on Aldi dogs. I don't remember when we were kids and they were natural casing and so were beef. Yeah, they're beef hot dogs. I don't care for no beef hot dogs. I like the ones with the mystery meat. I don't like beef hot dogs either. I like the chicken lip and pork tail. So my daughter wanted to know how to make pico de gallo the other day. So I told her. How hard did it be? I don't know, but she made it and they ate it all. Mm. And she said she will have to make some more. I could tell you all how to do it. If she wanted to. If I wanted to. All you have to do is get a can of cut up to peat. Get tomatoes. No, that's onions. you don't even know. You, <laughs> just, you don't even make, know. I would make it that way. He you makes buy it diced tomatoes in the big can. You know. Yeah, that's what middle, I said. Big. And it depends on what drain you, how the, much you want. Drain the tomato juice off. Then cut up, finely cut up about two to three jalapeno peppers. Dice them up small. And dice the onions small. With the seeds? Onions don't cut. No, you take the seeds out the jalapeno pepper. <laughs> See, I got her there. She but the, the tomato juice you... Drained off them tomatoes, set to the side. As we would tell you how to make a Bloody Mary with it. I knew that she was going to say that. I knew that. And then you take the tomatoes, the jalapeno peppers, and the onions and mix them together. Now, the Mexican lady that gave me the recipe said to use lime juice. Well, I don't like it with lime juice. Oh, you need garlic. Use garlic powder. Or chop up garlic or minced garlic out the jar. Just put garlic in. And then you take, squeeze, I use lemon juice. I buy it in a bottle, okay, because I ain't got time to be squeezing lemons. Take me 12 of them, just get enough. Put some lemon juice in it and stir it around. What about cilantro? Yeah, you put cilantro in it, too. Thank you. I forgot. I didn't tell them you put cilantro in there. I don't like cilantro. It tastes like soap. No, it don't. Yeah. To me, it tastes like soap. I don't like it. Well, anyways, we're having soapy pico do that. And then you put some of your tomato juice around back in it and stir it up and put it in a jar and let it set for about 24 hours. And like I said, my daughter, they, when I make it, it's gone. I give everybody a jar. Now, if you want to make salsa... By cheating on the budget. Buy them same diced tomatoes. I'm listening. Cut up some onion. Put a 
can of, you don't have to buy Rotel chilies and, you know, what I'm talking about. You buy off-brand, pour those in there, and cook them. Cook them down. Did I say put onion in there? Yeah. And cook them down, mm -hmm. mash them up, and then add a packet of taco seasoning. Mild. Don't eat. If you make hot, I ain't eating yours, okay? And you just cook it, mix it, put it in a jar, and there you go. Why, why are you putting taco seasoning in there? Why don't you just put some adobe and some... Uh, adobe? What the fuck's adobe? And some cumin. I don't have no cumin or adobe. I got onion powder and onion garlic powder. And salt and pepper in my cover. Okay, what is adobe? Adobe is... Um, it's some places the Indians build out in the southwest. Adobe's. It's, it's um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, sound like I got oregano. Adobe. Sound like I got adobe in my cover. Yeah. And cumin, if you put that in anything, that's the taste you get with your taco season. You can use that for dye, too. Yeah. No, turmeric. Turmeric. Yeah. Okay, see, I don't know nothing about nothing. This is the woman with 10,000 plants. Yes. She got more spices than India. Yeah. No. It's like when she tried to make KFC spice. Well, the special thing for KFC is, is pepper. the white pepper. Pepper. That's the taste. White pepper. pepper. And he, prob he probably puts a put in onion powder, garlic powder. It didn't be having cinnamon in it. No. What else did it say you needed? Dill. Dill. No, you do. Need Bill? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if these crazy KFC commercials, he's probably rolling over in his grave down there in Louisville. Kentucky. But I don't know what kind of spices were back then they would have. Well, it's like when he first started. Bob Evans, he's probably rolling over his grave over this little Bobby they got. Little with Bobby. the little piggies. Pink eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where was Bob Evans at? Down on the farm. Down on the farm. No, I mean where uh, the farm. <laughs> down on Route 35. Uh, Delaware? By Gallipolis. Gallipolis, that's right. Down south. Because uh, I had visited it when the kids were It's closer were to Ga Jackson. Yeah, and we Ohio. parked across. You had to park in a field across from the farm. And you went over there. You didn't park around by the barn? Nope. And you walked across, and they had, like, big pots of beans cooking on the iron hangers over campfires. And um, there was a restaurant in the old farmhouse, and they were having, like, a festival or something down there. But it was really deep. It's in southern Ohio because there was the foothills of, uh, would that be? We've been uh, on here for, like, 13 minutes. Yeah. Would that be like a Smoky Mountain foothills or the Appalachian? No, Appalachian. Appalachian foothills will come up into Ohio. So uh, he, they were down in there. Yeah, I know some people are going to leave last Friday to rent a car. They were driving to West Virginia by Huntington to a hot dog shop. They were just going down to get a hot dog. Who's that? Larry's girlfriend, Mandy, and her dog. Oh. They was going down there just to the hot dog shop. And can you believe this? West Virginia wants a sick. Okay, I imagine there are people on here from West Virginia, maybe. But they wanted a signature food. So they got... Biscuit world. Pepperoni. Pepperoni rolls. rolls. Yes. and that, I tried pepperoni rolls when I lived there in Fairmont, West Virginia. Below Morgantown. Not my favorite. It wasn't my favorite. Y'all need to put some mozzarella cheese up in that too. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite. I'd starve to death. I had to eat that. And if that. you say, well, what is Ohio's signature? Candy Buckeyes. Well. And, and we. It's not Cincinnati cinnamon chili. We Forget call. It. I will not eat chili with cinnamon. We call no, shopping cart. Shopping cart. Yes. And we call a sack of sack. They call mm -hmm. shop carts buggies. And they also call a sack of poke. Yeah, sacks of poke. And then there's poke Sally Annie. And, 
I never ate no Coke. I have. Mm. It's just like a green. I ain't no Coke. There, you have to get it before it flowers because once it flowers, it's, it's poison. Poison. Because uh, my uh, first husband, his grandmother. The pioneer man. Uh, his grandmother, she had those kind of greens in her backyard. And she would pick them. And uh, she always said, Pope's good as, as long as it's young. Once it gets mature, it's not, you can't eat it. Yeah. And, uh. Feel like I got drunk in And, you know, I remember when we, we were first married, I used to go out in the backyard and dig up dandelion greens and make dandelions. Girl, just go store and buy them. You know, man gonna make me out there digging up no dandelions. No, but, you know, that's neat, because I wouldn't think of doing that now. But, you know. I wouldn't have thought about doing it then, either. But, you know, um. Her first husband made her run around the ankle weights on hang up loose. Yeah, he did. Take care of the goats. Take care of the turk chickens and rabbits. Rabbits, I'm telling you what. And we even had a pig and a rabbit. Woman had a cook stove in her kitchen. Yeah. Even had a pig in the chicken house. Yeah. yeah. If I had a fun life. Yeah. There ain't no way I'd run around no god darn ankle weights on. No way. <laughs> We used to wait till we knew he went back to lunch at work. Yeah. And we'd load up in my car and we'd go to the door. That's the smartest part of it. Yeah. Town. Take the kids. We'd spend all day there. Yeah. If she go home, wouldn't want to cook. And I have to cook for him. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have no man in my life. Yeah, she was a smart one. I chased them men off. Yeah, okay. But she's got an old one on the line now. A what? An old one. Yeah, my friend. Okay, with benefits. Well, ain't nothing in it for me. I get my money out somehow. Let me tell you, it's disgusting. If I keep him nice, if I be nice to him, he'll give me $20. Or buy her a candle. Or buy me a candle. When I say I want something, the man goes and buys it. Ow! I well. I fell in love with me the other night again. It's like, oh God. He thinks you got money. I do have money, but he ain't get none of it. I ain't the one that owns a truck, a car, and a motorcycle, and a house. Sorry, everybody didn't mean to do that. Yeah, you did. I know. She's 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 not as nice as you people think. Oh she is. yes, I am. I'm no, sweet. she. Ain't. I'm yeah. sweet, sweet, sweet. She ain't as nice as you think she is. Sure, I am. She got mad at me last week. Yes, I did. I got mad at all of them. Yeah. I put myself in timeout. And you know what I did? I was not playing well with Fuzzy. I let her go play in that, that sandbox by herself because the cat always sleeps in. That's all right. That one sister of maybe math, she called me their day. I told her goodbye. <laughs> so she called me unknown caller. No caller ID. Well, I have news for you people. You want to call me cop, no caller ID, unknown number? Your identity safe with me because... I ain't answering the phone. <laughs> but she did. She stuck that olive branch out and they come back all burn up. Yep. See, my one sister, she always says, well, I always check the water. Well, check it. It's still boiling hot at my house for you. <laughs> oh, well, everybody. This is, like I said, I would like to have her come down once a week and, uh, get on here and um, us just bowl poop around here on here and talk about stuff. And so, you know, other times you're just going to see me, but once a week you'll be surprised and quit sticking your tongue out. I'm trying to make it look like I got teeth. She don't have teeth. You know, I've got I do teeth. have teeth. Yeah, but she don't wear them because she looks like uh, Mr. Inspector, Ed. Inspector Carl Patrick. Edward's sister. <laughs> the biggest teeth I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's terrible. Quite entertaining. Quite entertaining. I told him I have hearing aids. She don't wear them. I never in my Cross life. Teeth, well, beside her losing her teeth was funny listening to her talk. Getting those big dentures was funny listening to her talk. But there's this time I tell you, she come in here from the VA. <laughs> 
She had on ankle brace, uh, braces up to, and knees. She, up to her knees. She was wearing these big white senior citizen white tennis shoes. strap tennis shoes. And With shorts. Was, With shorts. And she was walking all funny in here. I, I'm telling you, if you want to live forever, just see something like that. Because you'll laugh. They say if you laugh and laugh till you're going to cry. You just added years to your life. So, yeah, it, it was funny. Trust me, folks. Well, we're going to go because she don't want to be on here all night. Um, we had fun doing this. and we, I see what you're doing. Crazy. What did I do? Make a face of the saying, lie, lie. I said she lied. No, I don't. And uh, once a week, we'll get on here again together and... We'll talk about something if you want us to talk about something, or we can we can get in trouble and talk about something all by ourselves. We don't need help. But you know, I have put my address up there uh, on some videos. If you would like um, question and answers, we can do that, and um, maybe we'll just have what we call the sister hour. So. If you like this video, let us know. Call BR589. Yeah. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Tap that bell. And share this video with us. And we'll be back next week with some more fun and games. We might even um, come up with something new. I'll tell you what. My um, aim right now is to get 50 subscribers. If I get 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a drawing, and somebody's going to win. What am I, old, old Burt Campbell? No. They can, I know, we'll raffle off my false teeth. If I get, yeah, okay. Hey, how about the glasses I'm trying to give you last night? Sure. Yeah. Um, if, <laughs> we're, if I get up to 50 subscribers, this is my goal. I'm not going to be able to get much, but I will get someone... Uh, what can we get? One of those, uh, these, uh, money cards. Let's get them a gift card to a restaurant that they can buy where they live. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, and we'll get you, we'll have a gift card. We'll get you a gift card to the Walmart. Everybody got Everybody Walmart. put, uh, you know, we'll comment, put down, yes, um, your address, not your address, but let us know. We'll do a drawing the following week. When we're together. And, uh, yeah, we'll raffle that ticket off. I know, I'm looking everywhere but at you people. So, that's my goal. Is 50 subscribers. And then we'll go up a little higher. And See how much younger I look in here? It'll just get better and better, okay? Relax. So, let's let that be. Let the channel grow. Because today is sister hour. I hope you enjoy it, because we do. Like I said, we didn't get in trouble all by ourselves on here. Nobody has it. Yeah. So, if you like Funniest this. Funniest times would be somebody record us when we don't know what's going on, because we say some shit. Yeah, if we talk same time, because everybody has to get their word in before. It's quite interesting. Yeah. Well, anyway, you go out and find something to enjoy today, or tonight. <laughs> um, do what you love to do. Sleep. Go sit and talk to your sister. Um, and uh, right, talk to her sister. She talked about she ready to go to bed a while ready. Yeah. Like I just want to be left sitting and in the you kitchen know, by myself. I have went to her house and she was in bed. And I was sitting in the kitchen by myself. And wake me up. That's what they do. Yeah. She'll actually go to bed on you. Mm -hmm. uh, this woman has went to bed at... Eight o'clock before, so don't let make her think that I'm not uh, good to bed early. Cause right now it's eight thirty-seven. Oh, it's past your bedtime. No, I mean I'll go to bed till about nine. That's if something's on that she wants to watch. Like last night, I was up till midnight. I had to watch Yellowstone and The Last Cowboy. See, she's got a hard on for the Yellowstone and the Last. There's Cowboy. only two more episodes left for this season. Okay. I don't want to have nothing to watch but murder shows. And my my male friend asked me, Do you watch Big Brother? 
I said, hell no, I don't watch that no big brother. I don't like that show. I said, you watch stupid shit. Survivor, big brother. I got time to be watching them fake people run around. I like to watch Orange is the New Black, but the season's done. They're, they've stopped the show. Made me cry because there's some people in there I really like that died off. Then I was watching Wentworth from Australia about a prisoner prison. And there was a character on there I really loved, and they killed her off. So, you know, there's our but cowboys, I, prisoners. But um, I don't believe in them reality shows. I'm so sick of the Kardashians and Real Housewives of Impex City. I can't. I don't want to watch them. Now they got NASCAR wives on, okay? I'm going to be watching them snubby, snub, snub nose bitches milk and watching Kyle Bush's wife. Ain't doing it. Mm -mm. I ain't doing it. Mm -mm. Ain't doing it. Mm -mm. All right, girls and boys. I will talk to you later. Bye.